Hi there, signs of Gemini. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading for you all. And um, thanks for joining me, asking your spirit team and your angels to join us. These messages are for your um, highest good. And ooh, heavy already on the split. So let's just dive into your reading. Um, pulling from the Psychic Tarot Oracle. Oracle. Tell us what kind of messages do you have for Gemini? Okay, temptation in the reverse or a devil energy in the reverse. I think if you're successful, you know, it's staving off um, an addiction. Or desire um, yeah so the seven of cups you're choosing um, you're choosing not to be clouded or confused and you know exactly what this temptation card represents for you whatever attachment it means whatever toxic it was for you like your ability to choose wisely is there and I believe that's what's being actualized um, might be spending some time with yourself, by yourself, solitude, reflecting, um, things like that. Alright, so let's just do an energy reading then. I feel like you don't really need advice if you're taking your own advice so well here. I don't think this is an advice reading. Maybe this is just um, giving us some more information about the energies coming up next 48 hour. This is the Osha Zen Tarot blended with the Kipper deck. Um, high honor in the reverse seven of wands the page of pentacles and tower card in reverse mm -hmm. hmm I don't know if it's about doing the honorable thing here or Maybe just lost, may, like maybe you just lost respect from somebody or for somebody because of some kind of decision that, um, I don't know, maybe it had to be transformed. Maybe there's still maybe rebuilding. It feels very stressed. Seven of uh, Wands feels like you're doing a little bit of everything and still looking for signs, especially with the Page of Pentacle right next to it, because that is the new adventure. Um, and it, it has like a toddler on the card. Um, going towards this prism of colors, which is um, very hopeful. And I feel like that's the choice that's wise. The new, um, something where you can honor yourself uh, by what it is that you're choosing. It's good for you. Something to honor yourself. Yeah. And I think that's what you're doing. And it's kind of stressful, this um, maybe change. Kind of stressful. Yeah. Yeah change your thoughts change everything really um 16 in the reverse so yeah changing your thoughts maybe getting a little bit more positive with your thinking um or having a, a belief or something in maybe it's about paying attention to our thoughts the power of our thoughts tell me about seven of wands Lovers in reverse and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Somebody's um, giving up in, in, a, in a relationship because they've been carrying too much of the burden and or something has become a burden, like something's become too much weight on metaphorically every single one of your nerves. <laughs> so that stress yeah, it's going to lead to a parting of ways, I feel like, for some. And that's the choosing wisely also. That stress is to let you know um, whether something's going to be good for you or not. Okay, so Page of Pentacles, though, is like I said, I think that this is like the good 
choice, the good decision. The seven of cups reverse, the good choice. Yeah, maybe in the not so distant horizons, I mean, maybe it's kind of like in between times where you're transitioning almost, you know, on your way. Hmm. Fantasy ship. Tell me more. And maybe the new investment is to go away somewhere or go off somewhere. That can even be vacation for yourself. King of Swords and the Reverse, the Magician. And poverty. The thing that's keeping um, that energy from manifesting is whatever you're trying to manifest is because something needs to have more order or more discipline. That's keeping the poverty energy there. Either something on repeat or something that could be done in a better way. More discipline. More, I, I don't know what it is. It's, it's, I think it's going to be specific for whatever. So this is usually associated with um, uh, the seed that once it's planted, it might seem small, but it's going to be something that's quite significant. It's the pathway out of poverty. And impoverished, too, could mean just without in whatever way. So in whatever way, emotional or physical. Sudden wealth in the reverse might not be so sudden. It might be building. <laughs> Child in reverse. Message in reverse. False person in reverse. Hmm. Okay, what is the message about? We have false person, but we have it in reverse as if somebody's being revealed of who they really are or something it might be a main male i don't know if you'd really be getting along with that energy very well or if it would be because of some issues with this child energy look two lovers in reverse um a decision that didn't go to the best or something like that unexpected income but this is expected income somebody's expecting or you're expecting income from this person or money from this person. Um, bad health in the reverse and the strength card in the reverse. I think you're building strength and your health is getting better in a situation and making better decisions moving forward. Um, there's a feeling of being just very, very busy. So, uh, Wow, main male and main female, both in the reverse. Whew. And the sun in the reverse. So, <sighs> it's saying that something is in the shadows or something is still in the shadows about whatever the situation is. Um, something's not being revealed or a Leo isn't present because both of those are sun and strength card Leo energies. And the message keeps getting put in the reverse, like somebody's not getting a message. And then a gift that's to come, I feel like. A gift that's to come. It's after making these better decisions here, I feel like. Tell me more about the gifts. And then we will get some cards on mail and the mail and the female uh 22 official person um breaking out maybe of a mental prison or feeling like there's some kind of restriction that was lifted let's see tell me about um lovers in reverse main female main male tell me about that the wheel of fortune and the five of swords in the reverse it's time for these energies to stop fighting so much um, the Wheel of Fortune is here. That's, that's the message that needs to get to you is that something is here for a fortunate turn of events. So you can be happy like with whatever this is. It's fixed. It's faded. 
it's going to be um, everything balancing out, everything for the good of all, and truth and clarity will be found. That's interesting that this false person here is matching up with this justice energy. I don't know why, but I feel like that has something to do. So something good though, okay, a new cycle, even maybe new karmic cycle, because it might be that this person was a false person. Something being revealed. Tell me about justice and false person. And then that's the good news card. And so the good news might be that there is a financial gain, a win. If you do have any kind of court issues, I, I feel like a gift that's coming up is going to be a big win. And this could be a financial gain, independence, self-reliance, um, the nine of pentacles like it's an extremely fortunate card and i think it's good news from whatever these seeds are that you're um placing what should we do about this message then just keep your head down and keep working hard um and yeah you're um redeeming yourself take good care of yourself uh show others how you should be loved by how you love yourself <clears throat> there's an offer unexpected proposal maybe something like that romantic or business like new contracts new partnerships with justice um after you show that yeah you can you're please completely fine on your own you can do this on your own right but this is just like extra help it's extra emotional support it's things coming into balance that were really off balance that we're moving slow on the bottom the six of cups this is a soulmate energy new or um, it doesn't matter but this energy here first is a success uh, on your own or just it's about that all right so um, I'm gonna get some tea leaves for you so if you're putting your head into your work or what you do every day, then good for you because keeping busy is like your, um, that's your key to the efforts that pay off with this Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Cups, somebody could be on their way to you. Maybe, maybe. I have crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Ink pot, problems to be resolved. Candle, but look, you'll be shown the way. Mule, someone is extremely stubborn, unwilling to change. And so we have scissors, disappointment in some affair. Axe, forces working against you, goodness. And then I have tankard, celebration, fun, enjoyment, and four leaf clover, great fortune or good fortune. Great good fortune. Dark woman dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair. And then camel, you got the same one that Leaper got. Persevere and you will overcome your problems. Persevere and you will overcome your problems. Okay. So, what angel number message do you have for Gemini? you have 20 I am harmonious you relate to others on almost a cosmic level uh, you are dedicated to building harmonious partnerships or relationships or partnerships you know what I'm saying um, of all kinds you may be even signing new contracts and things like that you have the ability to persuade others to your point of view so maybe like a salesperson or maybe politician <laughs> um, by using gentle means I'm harmonious and number nine, um, that is the humanitarian coming out. Nine, it's your compassion that makes you shine. You're devoted to helping the greater good. Uh, you have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you're being of service. I am compassionate. Oh, wow. Here's the signs. What's your sign? Okay, friendship. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. I have signs. Your future positive direction will reveal itself and any doubts or confusions will soon disappear. And look, the green fairy right underneath that four-leaf clover. 
a cheeky green fairy on your behalf is appearing here to make you laugh. Then I have flowers. Flowers will brighten up your space and create a fairy friendly place. I keep going right underneath that um, eight of pentacles. It's like, don't stop um, what you're doing. The world at times is big and loud, but we'll make sure you're safe and sound. And I have celebrate, look, you have tankard and celebrate. Celebration, celebrate, the time is right to jump out loud. Don't hesitate, jump around and always um, be careful too. So Archangel Raphael, give us some messages. Of course, this isn't meant to replace any kind of medical advice. It is just the Archangel Raphael Oracle. Give us your cares. Um, Okay. Uh, dear Jesus, divine healer, healing power and presence, give us your cares. Allow me to completely let go so you can guide me in this situation. And then listen to your intuitive feelings. Um, yeah, speaking loudly and clearly in peaceful ways. There's a nice unicorn there. Thank you for guiding me and um, helping me listen to my inner wisdom. And one more deck. I'm just trying to find it. Okay, here it is. The Witch's Oracle. And we'll close out with this. Mm. That Eight of Pentacles is really standing out. So something's going to be much better for you regarding work or accumulation. Things finally coming in. Something like that. Moving Past. I feel like this neophyte study card in the reverse might be like a page of swords in the reverse, so just be careful. Watch out for miscommunication. Um, number 16 could be about transformation, tower energy. You are protected though. 24, holy stone, the protection. I also have chalice, fertility. Three, so emperor's energy kind of, and also ace of cups. And you got the goddess card. 36, this card offers transcendence from all problems and issues going on in life and the emotional and the physical, etc. So that's what I've got for you. If you're wanting a private reading, reach out to me in the description box below is my email address and otherwise I'm sending you light and love until the next reading. Bye-bye.